All right, guys, so we are now in part two of um, moving your URL from Network Solutions to GoDaddy. In the first video, I just kind of went over why I chose to transfer my names from my URLs from um, and my accounts from GoDaddy to, I'm sorry, from Network Solutions to, to GoDaddy. So now I'm going to walk you through the process again as I said it's gonna take a couple days so at this point I'm still not sure if we're gonna be doing uh, three videos or four but let's see here um, what I'm going to do is go to network solutions okay and I'm going to log in This was from the example that I gave you in the last video. So let me go back to Network Solutions. Manage account. I think I'm already signed in. Okay, and then we're going to go to my domain names, which is under the My Products and Services tab. And let's see, which domain am I going to change? IROC Social, which I actually already have posts on there, but I will either do a video, maybe I'll do a video on how to back. Um, backlog your stuff, back up your stuff, but I actually don't mind losing my information because I kind of want it to start fresh anyway. Okay, so we see here we've got IROC Social currently um, pointing to this here. So what we're going to do is Right down here, transfer lock, we are going to um, click this right here, turn off or request authorization code. And you get this big stop before you transfer your domain to another company. We'd like to extend a special promotional offer this is a limited time offer, so please act fast to get this renewal rate. So technically, you guys, if you have network solutions and you want to stay, but you just, you know, maybe your intention is not to leave, but you want this special rate for your domain name, right? Wait till your renewal is close <clears throat> and then renew your name for 10 bucks. Perfect, right? <laughs> All right, and you can do renew now and follow whatever those steps are, okay? Uh, but I don't want to do that. I definitely want to. We're past that. They should have offered me that ten dollars when I first bought the domain name or when I was going to renew it. Okay, so we've just requested an authorization code to transfer your domain name to another company. By transferring your domain name, you assume all responsibility, etc., etc. Please click the box. So you're going to click the box and hit continue transfer. Now, in order to serve you better, what company are you transferring? GoDaddy, please. What is the primary reason? I'm going to say lower costs because maybe this will help them in the future if they even look at this. Nope. Yes. I don't know how many names do I have I probably have maybe five different names but they're all going to go eventually also okay so let's see we want to leave the domain transfer lock off okay 
request authorization code and then just this note all domain names changes must be complete before you request a transfer to net okay we're not change we're not transferring to network solutions so we're not worried about that okay so uh, it says my request for an authorization code has been received and your information will be validated to ensure the security of your account if your request is approved you will receive your authorization code in three days to cancel this request call customer service now you guys this is very very important you want to make sure that the voice I don't know how they pronounce who is I'm just gonna say who is w h o i s report has your correct email address because that's where the request is going to go and you have to monitor your emails over the next um few days because if they don't get a response they're going to cancel all right so you have to make sure you're going to slow the process you have to make sure that your email address is listed correctly so you can go to whois.com and see what email is listed and make sure that that email is correct and keep an eye out on your inbox also because if I recall correctly and I might be wrong but I believe that when they send you these emails they're timed emails so they'll expire after a certain amount of time so you want to start you know you want to make sure that you're responding to these requests that they're going to send you as soon as possible now I noticed with the last time I, I did a transfer that network solutions took long enough that I had to call the customer service um, and of course that was done by design however this product here the URL that I'm transferring does not expire for another few months so I'm gonna give it um, a little bit of time uh, to to go through so I'm not sure when the next video um, the next video will um, when I'll be doing the next video that the next update but so make, make sure that you're you're keeping an eye out on my blog www.sherylwashington.com for an update and if you matter of fact if you leave a comment I'll update the comments and just say hey guys uh, I uploaded the next video if you want to see it um, so you guys that's it for today so what I will do is keep an eye out on my email and when I get that email I will go ahead and, and uh, update that the next part of the process and let me just also list for you guys a couple of the items that could cause your transfer to be delayed or failed okay um, if the domain name has not been registered for 60 days all right so you can't get you know if you got a network solutions URL today and you've decided you know a week from now or you got it last week and you've decided you know what I want to switch to GoDaddy or whomever else right um, there's a regulation that um, you, you cannot do this within 60 days and I think that's custom for most companies um, so that's not separate to uh, network solutions but uh, a domain name has to be registered for at least 60 days before it can be transferred uh, let's say if your your authorization is denied um, as authorization codes are random sets the random sets of letters and numbers they're case sensitive um, you know may contain characters that would be mistaken for other characters so what I advise you to do is to copy and paste the authorization code from the email that you get rather than typing it all right so that way it doesn't get denied and you're sitting there trying to figure out well what the heck because you know sometimes the zero can look like an O right um, if your domain name is expired and deactivated now most expired domain names can be transferred but you're probably going to be better off if you just call Network Solutions to take care of that versus trying to do it this way. Um, also, if there's a 30-day transfer lock on a domain name, and you know these companies don't want to lose their business, right? So 
they're going to try to do different things, you know, to, you know, like they might be, maybe they're super slow. So again, you just want to make sure that you're keeping an eye out on your email. Okay. And you just want to make sure that all your contact information is correct. Your email is correct. Your name is correct. All right. If it needs to be changed, make sure it's changed everywhere. All right. If you're thinking about changing it, wait until after all this is this process has been done. Okay. So um, that's all you need to do for right now, and I will talk to you in the next video. Okay. Bye bye.